Hello, Stephen Dean speaking, and here is lesson 236 from A Course in Miracles. I rule my mind, which I alone must rule. Which means when you say I alone, you mean your true self, your inner spirit must rule it, not your ego, as it says. I have a kingdom I must rule, your life. At times it does not seem I am its king at all. No, with what goes on in the world around you, you don't feel like you're in charge whatsoever, do you? It seems to triumph over me and tell me what to think and what to do and feel. Well, that's your understanding of the world as you understand it. What you project onto the world is what you understand it to be. You see, if you allow your spirit to project outwards like the Holy Spirit, then you will see the world as it truly is, as nothing but the perfect love of God. You see, opening, opening up your heart to the Holy Spirit, as it says, today I give it service to the Holy Spirit to employ as he sees fit. I thus direct my mind, which I alone can rule, and thus I set it free to do the will of God. In other words, to see the will of God, to see God all around and find great relief for all the, tri all the troubles and traumas that we appear to be suffering right now. There's a prayer at the end. Father, my mind is open to your thoughts and close today to every thought but yours. I rule my mind and offer it to you. Accept my gift, for it is yours to me, see, because you and he really are one. As I've said before, a father can't be a father unless he's got a son, and a son can't be a son unless he's got a father. In this way, they are one. Okay, so lesson for today then, I rule my mind, which I alone must rule. Okay. Lovely. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.